Good morning, everyone. I'm Pastor Michael, and I want to say welcome to Theater Kids. This week, we're going to have so much fun learning all about God's good creation from the book of Genesis chapter 1. There's going to be so many fun things, and we're going to get right into the first day of creation in just a moment, but I wanted to tell you a few things before we got started. First of all, I hope you all were able to get our activity packet. If you don't already have it, you can get it on our website right now at springhillspca.org slash theater kids. That activity packet is going to give you a lot of things you need to participate in theater kids this week. In that packet, you're going to find the Bible passage that we're going to talk about. You're going to find the creation focus that we talk about for each day, you're going to find a dress-up theme for each day. Now, today's dress-up theme is light and dark. So after this, you can find whatever you have to dress up light and dark. You'll also find some memory verses that you can memorize so that you can have God's word in your heart. They've, they're written so that older kids can memorize the whole thing and younger kids can memorize the part that's in bold. There's also some questions in there so that you can think more about the Bible lesson or even talk about it with your parents or your family and friends. And then there's some fun games and activities that you can play. Make sure you stick around till the very end of this video because I'm going to have a fun game or activity that I'm going to show you that you can go and play on your own later. And then you'll really want to make sure that you come back to our Facebook page at 1 p.m. this afternoon and every afternoon because we're going to have a Facebook Live performing arts activity with each one of our different arts teachers. Today is going to be Story and Song with Stephanie Petrie, 1 p.m. on our Facebook Live page. And if you're not able to catch it live, that's okay. You can always watch it later, but you're not going to want to miss it. And the last thing that I want to tell you about before we get started is that we have a Facebook group called Theater Kids Photos and Fun. And if you join our Facebook group, you can post comments and photos and videos of yourself doing all sorts of things uh, revolving around theater kids. You can post videos of you reciting the memory passage or dressed up in the day's dress up theme. You can post uh, photos or videos of the snacks. You'll find snacks in the activity packet. You can post videos of those. You can say hi to your friends. It's a place where you can see all of your friends and see all of the fun that everyone is having this week at Theater Kids. So you don't want to miss it. Now that we've talked about all the fun things that we're going to do this week at Theater Kids, let's jump right into our first Bible lesson. Today we're going to be looking at the first day of creation. You can find it in your Bibles in Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 through 5. And the creation focus for today is dark, light, day, and night. I want you to think about this. What would it be like if you could just say something and then it came true? Like what if you could say, I want to flap my arms like wings and fly. And then you could. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be super fun, but we don't have the power to do that with our words. Our words don't make things true. But God's words do. God's words are powerful. And that's what we see when we look at the first day of of creation. I'm going to read Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 through 5 for us. And this is from the ESV. It says this, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, listen to what God says, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. 
There was evening and there was morning the first day. Isn't that incredible? God was just able to say the words, let there be light, and there was light. God's words are powerful. This week, we're going to be looking at the way that God made everything that there is in the world. There was a time where none of it existed, and then God spoke it into being. Isn't that incredible? And he starts out the very first day by making light and dark, day and night. His very words are powerful because he's the God who controls everything in the whole world. Now, if God is able to just say the word and for it to come true and the whole world be created, to just say the word and, and there's light and dark, then that says something about who God is. It says that he's powerful. It says that if he can just say something and it comes true, he's powerful. And if God is powerful enough to create everything with his words, then he's a God that we can trust. He's a God that we would want to get to know because that's a powerful God, a God who is in control of everything. Did you know that Jesus talks about light also. Not only did does God talk about light in Genesis 1 when he creates the world and separates day from night, dark from light, but Jesus talks about light. When Jesus, who is God, comes into the world a long time later, Jesus says that he is the light of the world. Because he brings the truth and beauty and goodness of God into a world that needs to know Jesus. And then Jesus says something incredible that, uh, that applies to each one of us who follows Jesus, each one of us who trusts Jesus. He says that we are the light of the world. Isn't that crazy? First, Jesus says that he is the light of the world, but then he says that we are the light of the world. And we're going to talk later this week more about our role as people living in God's good creation. And there's more to think about if you look at the questions today about that passage where Jesus says that we are the light of the world. But I want you to think about this. We have a God who's powerful enough to create everything with his words. We have a God who sent his son to a light into the world to show truth and beauty and goodness and salvation to everyone in need. And then we have a God who calls us to follow after him and reflect God's light into the world sharing the gospel, the good news that Jesus is truth and beauty and goodness and salvation. This week, we're going to talk a lot more about the good world that God created. We're going to talk a lot more about what it means for us to live in the good world that God created. And most of all, we're going to talk more about Jesus, what it means to follow him, what it means to believe in him, what it means to trust and worship the God who made all of this good creation. I'm excited to talk with you about it more. Again, there's some questions that you can look at with yourself or with your parents or your family and friends in the activity packet. I would encourage you to do that as you think more about the truth from God's word. Now stick around because in just a second, I'm going to show you a fun game that you can play. Remember, post photos videos in the Theater Kids Photos and Fun group, and I will see you all in that group and then here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Make sure you come back this afternoon at 1 p.m. for the Facebook Live activity, Story and Song with Stephanie Petrie. I'll see you in a minute for our game. Hey everyone, I am going to show you a game that I'm going to play that you
We play at home too, and all it takes to play it is a cookie. You can use an Oreo or any kind of cookie that you have at home. So I'm gonna try it first, and here's how it works. You have to put the cookie on your forehead and try to get the cookie into your mouth without using your hands, only using your face, getting the cookie into your mouth. Now, if you have other people you can play against, then you can race and see who can do it the fastest. Or if you're playing all by yourself, you can set a timer for one minute, 60 seconds, and see if you can do it in 60 seconds. That's what, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set a timer for 60 seconds and see if I can do it. So what do you think? Do you think that I can get the cookie into my mouth without using my hands in 60 seconds? All right, let's see if you're right. I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer. I'm gonna give myself an extra five seconds so I can get back here and my time starts now. There it is. I did it. 40 seconds to spare. Mm. This cookie is delicious. Now let's see if you can do it. You can race your friends. You can see if you can do it in 60 seconds. Post your videos in the Theater Kids Photos and Fun group and have fun with it. I'll see you all later. Mm -hmm.